Hello and welcome. Today we're looking at Sierra Chart. If you haven't used Sierra Chart yet or you're new to it, we're going to take a look today on how to open up a chart. So the first thing that we'll want to do is go to the upper left hand corner here and we'll select the file menu. From the file menu, we're going to notice the uh, find symbol area here. Now you'll also see that we do have a new open historical chart and new open intraday chart. We're not going to go there quite yet. What we're going to do is select the find symbol area here. So just select that and then click on that. What you'll notice here is that we have the find symbol window and you'll notice that we have two different options here. We have market stats or futures. Uh, there are a variety of market stats available, but for right now, we're just going to use the futures menu. So just go ahead and click on the plus button that's next to the next to the futures menu here. And you'll see that we do have a variety of different instruments. There's a lot to choose from here. I think today we're just going to use the ES as an example, but you do see that there are many here to choose from, uh, depending on the different markets that you might want to trade. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll select the ES here and you'll notice that there's another plus button next to that. So we're going to select that. And here's where we can choose which expiry we want to use. So there's a few different expiries here that you can see I have the December, the March and the June. Right now we happen to be on the June 2013 expiry. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now from here, we can take a look here at the different buttons that are available to us here. Now you'll notice that we have two that involve charts here, uh, open historical chart or open intraday chart. A historical chart is just something that's one day or higher. So a daily chart and a weekly chart, a monthly chart or a yearly chart. And an intraday chart is something that's smaller than that. So we could use that for example, uh, for a one minute chart or a five minute chart. For right now, we're gonna go ahead and select open intraday chart. Now you see in the background here, our chart did open up. So we can go ahead and close this find symbol window. Now you do see our chart here and you can see we are viewing a one minute and you can see the instrument here, the symbol name. So ES here, and then we have the one minute here value uh, pointed out to us right in the upper left hand corner. In case you're not sure um, what you're looking at here, if you have several charts open, you can always notice that right here in the upper left hand corner. And we do have open high low close here set to by default. Um, but let's talk about some other things that we can add to this or we can change. For example, if we just opened up this chart um, uh, kind of randomly, it, it by default will open up here a one minute chart. But maybe we want to actually look at a five minute chart. Um, we can actually use the toolbar here. If we go to the upper right hand corner, we can go ahead and select uh, one minute, five minute, 10 minute, 30 minute, one hour. We also have daily and weekly options here as well that are set up for us and pre-configured. So right now we're viewing a one minute chart. If we wanted to switch, we could, for example, select the five minute and you'll see that change for us. And now we're looking at a five minute chart. So let's go ahead and try uh, switching to a 30 minute chart here as well. You can see how fast that changes. Now, what if I actually wanted to view something like a 15 minute chart? You can see that's not actually available within the toolbar, but that doesn't mean we can't access a 15 minute chart. Of course, we can do that here within Sierra chart. We can do that by going to the chart settings. Now there's two ways we can do that. The first way is uh, using the toolbar here and that's using the CS button here. And you can see my mouse is now rolling over there and showing us that does stand for chart settings. So let's go ahead and click that button here. Now we do have a window here and this is the chart settings window. So to change the, uh, the bar period here, what we can do is go to the intraday bar period slash session, session times area here. Now you'll notice that by default here, we have it set to day, minutes, seconds per bar. And you can see here, we have kind of have a sequence. We have zero dash 30 dash zero. Now the first value here is going to be days uh, for the bars here and uh, the second minutes and seconds, just like it says here right in front of us, days, minutes, seconds per bar. So you can see here it says 0-30-0. That just means we're looking at those 30 minute bars that we have configured. So if I wanted to view a 15 minute chart, I would just type in here and edit the minutes section. So we'll go ahead and select minutes here and we'll select uh, 15 here and we'll go ahead and uh, type okay. And you'll see here that that did actually change us to a 15 minute chart. Now I do want to look at one more option for this video here. Some of you may not want to view open high low close chart. Uh, I know candlesticks are very popular as well as other bar types or period types here. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to edit those. Now I did mention that there's a few different ways we can access that chart settings menu. One is using that CS button here, but let's use another method. Let's use the right mouse click method. If you happen to be kind of down here or scrolling through your chart or something like that, um, it may be a little bit quicker for you to use the right mouse click menu. So let's just right mouse click on our chart and then we'll select chart settings. And you can see that's kind of right in the middle of that chart set or that mouse click menu here. So I'll select chart settings and that same window will come up. So from here, we can go to graph type. 
In the graph type section here, we can see we have a bunch of different options here to actually configure the bars for our chart. And one of those is candlestick bars. So for example, if you wanted to use the candlestick bars as opposed to the open high low close bars, you can absolutely do that. Let's go ahead and select OK. And then you'll see that we do have candlesticks on our chart instead of the open high low close there. There's a lot of different options here for charting as well, some more that we can customize and uh, a lot of different options. And we're gonna go through those in a few more videos as well. But thank you for joining me for this video on Sierra Chart on just how to open up a basic chart. If you have any questions for us here at Optimus, just let us know by either giving us a call or sending us an email. You can also check out our website at OptimusFutures.com.